Y'all were calling me real dramatic when I said that she destroyed that dress. And now here we are having the same conversation. And there's so many people saying, it's just a dress, who cares? If you don't like history, just say that. If you slept during history class, just say that. Um, <laughs> it's fine if you have the opinion that you don't care about the dress. That is your prerogative. You're allowed to feel that way. But your opinion does not outweigh the importance of history. Um, and it definitely does not outweigh the importance of the dress. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna we're gonna follow up from my original video where I was talking about the fact that Kim Kardashian destroyed Marilyn's dress. I called this the second it happened, the second the news outbroke that she was wearing it. I told y'all the seams are broken, the rhinestones have fallen off. And everybody was like, no, the fancy white glove people, they know what they're doing, Jess, you're being dramatic. Baby, you can get white gloves on Amazon for $8. Fancy white glove people are just people with gloves on. And we can see that now because they did not put that dress on Kim Kardashian safely. Now let's get some photos of, of the dress. Let's pull up, let's pull up before photos of the famous dress. So as you see in the photo before, the rhinestones are perfectly in place. The zipper looks good. Um, this dress fabric thinned out a lot throughout the years, but everything is still, you know, ordered, orderly. And then let's look at the dress after. So we see uh, some rhinestones have fallen off. Remember what I was saying? Oh, they're scraping it up. Rhinestones definitely fell off. Bingo, bango, there it is. Um, so we definitely see a lot of rhinestones falling off. We also see a lot of loose rhinestones. So a lot of the rhinestones are like hanging off. And there's also a lot of pulling at the zipper line. You can see where it was stretched out right there. Um, and that's really sad to see. What irks me is how now the museum is kind of low-key saying like, well, it was like that when we bought it. Oh, really? Um, so who stretched it out at the zipper line? Because it doesn't do that by itself. It doesn't do that by itself. And there's no natural wear and tear of it being hung up that would cause those rips. So we're lying now? Come on. Like, own up to the mistake and call it a day. <laughs> so here is a very clear before and after shot of when it was up for auction and when Kim wore it. Initially when I made my video, I said that I didn't blame Kim Kardashian for this, that it was mostly just the museum's fault and I don't blame Kim at all, but now that I see how many rhinestones have fallen off, I kind of do want to put the blame on her now because I see there's at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, around 10 minutes, let's say 10 rhinestones missing minimum off this dress. And when rhinestones fall, they make a noise. So that means that she had 10 opportunities to hear the rhinestone fall on the ground. Um, and she still proceeded to wear this dress out. So there is a level of disrespect there that I just can't condone. And definitely a level of negligence that I can't condone on Kim Kardashian's part. Most importantly, it's the museum's fault. Unfortunately, this dress was in auction and Ripley's Believe It or Not got their hands on it. Um, and they aren't a respectable museum. They're more of like a sideshow act type museum. And they are, I, I imagine they're not really run by, you know, actual historians, just people with money who can buy fancy objects. And so that's what happens to history when those kind of people get their hands on it. And in fact, it was such a big deal to do something like this to such a historical piece that uh, the conservators were so angry that the International Council of Museums had to make a statement themselves. So ICOM said, historic garments should not be worn by anybody, public or private figures. The organization said in a statement following the uproar, prevention is better than cure. Wrong treatment will destroy an object forever. About this particular situation, the dress that belonged to Marilyn Monroe was custom made by French designer Jean Louis in the color to match her skin tone. 
It was sewn on her before she went to the event where she sung happy birthday for then U.S. President John F. Kennedy in 1962. She didn't use any underwear to give a more vivid sensation that she was naked, and the material is souffle silk, which is no longer available, so it is irreplaceable. Art conservator Kara Varnell told the paper, We just don't wear archived historic pieces. Something that's archived means it's enough, in cu enough cultural importance that we value it and want to save it. The dress represents something very important. It's part of our collective cultural heritage. I'm speechless over it. Another one said, I'm frustrated because it sets back what is considered professional treatment for historic costumes. Sarah Scuturo, chief conservator at the Cleveland Museum of Art, told the LA Times in the 80s, a bunch of costume professionals came together to state a resolution that historic costumes should never be worn. So my worry is that colleagues in historic costume collections are now going to be pressured by important people to let them wear garments. So yes, that's exactly what Kim's decision caused. Now a bunch of people are going to feel entitled that, you know, with a couple hundred, you know, jeans or whatever, you can wear whatever you want. The situation should have stopped at when the designer said, hey, Marilyn Monroe made me make the dress with the intention that it's a dress only Marilyn could wear and that it would be a historical piece. Now, a lot of you guys don't know, but Marilyn Monroe is actually a huge, was actually a huge history fan. And she has expressed in her life that she finds it really upsetting when people mistreat historical items. So it's leaning more towards the side of no touchy because if Marilyn didn't want other historical garments being touched with when she saw that happening, what makes you think that she wants her historical garment being touched with? You know what I mean? So really disheartening, it's sad. Marilyn Monroe has been a figure that has never been respected by the public, literally never has been respected. And it's so unfortunate. She didn't consent to being a sex symbol. In fact, when she started her career, it was by accident because, <laughs> hi, <laughs> my dog. It was by accident because um, Playboy leaked one of her nude photos. So her nudes were leaked without her consent and she was forced to play a sexual role because people loved her for that. She just did what she had to do, but that was a big root of her depression and the reason why she had so many problems is because she was playing someone that she was not. She was not Marilyn Monroe, she was Norma Jean. So um, her voice was fake. Her voice was much deeper much deeper and much raspier than the, oh, hello. <laughs> um, and, you know, when she was at home, she wore pants all the time. She wasn't in the sexy dress. Um, in fact, a lot of her relationships have fallen through because they all thought that they were going to marry Marilyn Monroe, but they realized that she was nothing like Marilyn Monroe. So, you know, she has spent so many years being, you know, being disrespected and for her to continue being disrespected even in her death and people saying oh well you know she's dead so who cares blows my mind she is a human being she was a human being and people want to say that she's not uh or shouldn't be treated with such respect because of who she was but again that's something that she didn't consent to. That was a path of life that she didn't consent to, but kind of had to go and roll with it if she wanted to put food on the table because she was an orphan, she was poor. So like, could you blame the woman? So like, she's had so many injustices and so many things were so unfair and unjust. And it's got to stop. Let the woman rest. Let her rest and let her rest with respect. Like, she can't even get respect in her death. Like, that is just so sad. Um, so that's my opinion on this. I did decide to do a follow-up because literally everyone tagged me to do a follow-up. And these are just my thoughts. I kind of just word vomited them. Um, and let me know what you guys think down below. What's your opinion? Um, you know, if you have any fair statements against mine. So far, I haven't seen any, but you know, <laughs> if you do, just let me know. Um, and uh, I guess we'll, we'll see where everything goes from there. Otherwise, stay tuned for more vintage content. Also, be sure to check out my Kickstarter. I am making a film series, um, so I'll link that down below for you guys. Thank you for all the support, and I'll see you guys in my next video.